Hey guys. Um, so I'm going to keep going with this uh, Revelation study here. Uh, we're on Revelation 1 verse 4. I'm in the Isa standard version. Um, John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come. And from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. So what we got is sevens. And uh, we find out when we read these verses that um, there are seven candlesticks that John sees, or lampstands. And then you have uh, Jesus, or Jesus' angel, with seven stars in his right hand. Uh, you should notice that those stars are in his right hand, not his left hand, and that the lampstands, um, remember, we put a, a light on top of a lampstand, not under a bowl, and so on. So these, that's why the churches are the lampstands, because they're spreading light into the world. And the fact that he holds those seven stars in his hand are the angels or the spirits of the seven churches. Um, with regards to spirits, um, you should uh, know that um, some of the references to spirits in Scripture uh, are that we should test the spirits to see where they're from. Um, we also have uh, ministering spirits, so that help us out. But we also have evil spirits that can be given and misguide us, uh, or harden your heart, or in some cases even sent to deceive you to cause you to fall by God's own direction. Uh, this actually happens to King Ahab when God has a meeting with uh, the spirits to decide which spirit is going to go and cause him to fall. Um, so with reg and <clears throat> there's one other instance that's important, and it's when uh, Jesus they're trying to make their way back to Jerusalem. I, I think, and uh, they're trying to go back to Jerusalem on a journey, and they want to cut through a certain town to take a, a shortcut, and they're denied access to actually go through that town. And so then the sons of thunder, they decide, uh, they ask, actually ask Jesus, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? And uh, Jesus rebukes them and says, you don't know what spirit you are of. So, with regards to spirits, God is all spirit. He is the one, and he controls the many. So the Holy Spirit, then to be filled with the Holy Spirit, is to, uh, if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, it's not to say that those evil spirits are not still inside. They can exist to tempt you, to cause you to do wrong, to sin, uh, which is self-inflicted neglect. Um, but if the Holy Spirit is filling you, then it overrides and takes over these other spirits that they, uh, they cannot, um, they, they don't cause you to, to act unrighteously. Um, so these uh, seven spirits then are representative of, of the, the spirits that these churches are putting into the world. And Jesus is about to, uh, I guess, tear them apart to show them what their wrongs are, uh, where they're falling short, and so on. Um, I'm going to skip through all the passages for those churches because um, some people would like to equate churches of today with these specific churches. And that is a possibility, but these letters were written specifically to these churches. Um, when, when people fall short, uh, obviously there's going to be a certain, uh, there, there should be a structure in the way that they fall short. Uh, we realize that there are seven spirits of God. So if that would represent the completeness of God, uh, as you go through those seven spirits in Isaiah, then there's going to be seven specific ways 
in which you would stumble or fall. Um, and uh, having, you know, having the spirit or lacking the spirit or maybe defiling the purpose of that spirit. Um, so we'll pick up again here um, when we start to get into all the visions and then we'll explain that part. <clears throat> 